Yes. Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2015 Japan. This is the under 55 kg World Championship Tournament here at the Yogi National Stadium. Second gymnasium, I'm Russell Guru and I with me. Nicholas Pettis. We have a K1 under 65 kg fight. Um, this is Masaru Bunda from the Netherlands and Masaaki Noiri. Yes, this is going to be a very exciting fight because this is actually uh, Noiri's first time to fight yes, in the K1 here. That's correct, yeah. Against uh, Masaro Gunde from uh, Mike's Gym in the Netherlands. This is his first time in fighting in Japan. It's going to be interesting to see how these two fighters have a nice kick there from Noiri. Both 2021, 20, a lot of energy. So, uh, young guns Ooh. against each other here, but they got very similar fight records actually, so mm. it's going to be a very even match. Probably like the, the different styles is what's going to be clashing here today. Yeah. Oh, great low kick there. Noli has always been very calm and collected in the way his fighting style. He doesn't move a lot, but he's always like on the on the on the hunt yeah. kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The quiet, the quiet sniper was like very precise. Yeah, so he's been wanting to fight in KM41 for a while here, but uh, yeah, this is finally his chance to show what he's got. Yeah, here he is, 21 and 2015. Oh, he got 25 wins at this stage. And very physically strong, you know. It, it's, it's, it complements the way he fights that he can be able to do that. Yeah, he just stays there, doesn't go back. He never steps back. Mm. That's good looking again. But then again, we should not underestimate Masaru here. He has got a fight record of 21 nines with 19 ways of knockout. Yikes. Yeah. yeah. Low, low on that okay. Only eight defeats and four draws, actually. Up against uh, Noidi, who's got 25 wins and 11 knockouts. Mm. And these guys, when they're in business, they use the knockouts. So he's got that classical, you know, bouncing up and down mm. style footwork here. And he uses that, that really well, actually. And he's got Three. great combinations, as we see, just like that. Three. Three. No, no. Yeah, but they're both hitting actually fairly hard for this weight class, I'll tell you that. They both have the knockout power, so you really got to pay attention to these fights. Another great low kick. Another one. Oof, that was sneaky. Something happens, just got a wrist. <laughs> but, uh, no, he's actually a, a little, a couple centimeters taller, but the pretty much otherwise, these guys are very similar. Some of that we play. Yeah, oh yeah, I don't it's a bit of a mistake there. But the timing was, was had good intention yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, in these situations, you never really want to rush anything. Anyway, nope. so. Okay, yeah, now he says he's ready, but uh, we, we certainly hope so, yeah. Back to the game, in round one, three seconds to go. Actually, for the under uh, 65 kilo class, uh, they're, they're fairly tall at 174, 175 centimeters. Ooh, great combination there. Oh, I think he got cut. Oh, yeah, he it. Let's hope it doesn't pull him out of the fight. Yeah, so they sent him to the neutral corners. I wonder what cut him, actually. It wasn't a headbutt, that's for sure. Maybe, maybe knee or something. In the foot there. I don't know if you're weak or not. Oh, here we go. Oh, the knee. That there. Got okay. him. Wow. Okay. What a great flying knee there. I know, right? <laughs> Jumped right up. So I didn't it. think it touched him, but man, there's blood mm. all over the place there. Wow, that Tra is deep. Tra Trainer is saying that is yeah. completely Ooh, I, I thought that right was his here. island, but it's a cut. Okay. Oh. But he's going to go back? Okay. He's going to go back in. So no, okay. I'm not sure this is safe, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that, that uh, dangerous uh, media, though. It's a, a more quick to follow. Yeah, yeah this, this might actually, they might call it a, a fight on this mm. one, just because that cut is just simply too deep. 
we'll find out that uh, Ken Sickens and now one's over to see if even if Noid is willing, the doctor's gonna have to make a different decision. Yeah, but they could potentially put a bit of Vaseline in there. Okay. To see if you could kind of stop the bleeding too much. As long as it's not dripping into his eye, I think we're okay. Which it might be doing all over his uh, body there too. Yeah, no, that's a deep cut. Yeah. Man, that's too bad. I was really hoping to watch Noidy go mm. all the distance with the mm. muscle. And it had to Look strike. at that. Yikes. Oh, he went right through his gloves there. Wow. <laughs> even, even with a, because he just got himself. He didn't really good, but wow, oh, okay. You know, the thing with something like this is it's like, oh, look how much he has to do. But no, how deep it is, that's what I'm saying. So, because he can't really do anything like it. Uh, you know, unless you actually go to the doctor, right? But how? Yeah, well, you need stitches for this one. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's not like he's going to give up himself, but I think if you have to protect your fighter, I think it would be a wise call to, like, say, okay, sorry, we can't, we can't take this one. Out. It looks like they are continuing in, to round two. I mean, at the end of the day, it's safety, right? It has to be yeah, safe. Yeah, yeah. I understand how tough he is, and it, it's no physical damage other than a cut that's just bleeding, but even then. Said walking into a fight like that mm. from both of them. And then, he needs that, to be now, careful. Oh, man. Yeah, and then yeah. Blunder's going to go in for the Of course, the fighter's going to go for the boxing. Ay, ay, ay. Mentally, they just got the upper hand, but yeah. man, Noidy's not making it easy for him. This is, this is what is amazing about Noidy. Oh, he's an amazing yes. fighter. This, oh, is, oh. this is willing to go forward. Look at that. Just boxing it out as if nothing had happened at all. Nice yeah. Okay. I'm telling you, it's too, it's too deep. This is too dangerous. They have to stop this. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, get, yeah, he's get, saying he wants to continue, yeah. he wants to continue, but the doctor's gonna have to call this off. It's some kind of professional intervention or decision making here. Yeah. It's a shame because if there was no cut, yeah, no, he'd be fine. Mm -hmm. It's just because of the cut. Yeah, okay. So it's, 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 it's yeah, we're looking at well. This is going to be the winner. Technically, there, uh, Masato Pinto with that uh, knee kick, the flying knee, so which will probably not But I mean, this is the name of the game, right? Mm. I mean, anything can happen, and a cut is a cut, but it's also a way to win a fight. Yeah. Um, you see it a lot in Muay Thai fights when they fight with the elbows and stuff, right? right? right. Not so often yeah. in the K1 here, but fair enough. That was, uh, yeah, that was actually a good fight. I hope he uh, gets that stitch up as fast as possible and uh, yeah, heals up and yeah. just gets back up on the horse. And it's, uh, now he's kind of, you know, he wants to fight, so it's, I, I guess he can bring that emotion to his next fight. Oh, wow. yeah. Wow. That's going to make him a very emotional fighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this I can guarantee. <laughs> bring that energy somewhere else. If you, uh, yeah, I mean, this is 2015 fight, so mm. if you don't know who he is, go ahead and look up some more videos here oh, on YouTube. Oh boy, yeah. He has a fantastic career ahead of him. With, with this history, and this was his uh, very first fight with K1. There they are, there's the Masaro and the Noidi, kind of getting respect to each other, whatever the outcome. And uh, now I'm getting to the, to the, all the audience. Wow, what a fight. Thank you for watching. This was the K1 World Grand Prix 2015 Japan, the 55 KG World Championship Tournament. The winner there was uh, Masaru Glenda. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.